I have a very cool product from the Amp Lab that's going to be testing out the Cheetah Voltmeter. One of the fastest voltage readers in the world, I would have to say, reading over 40,000 sample rates per second. Really impressive. Looking forward to showing you all everything. Check out the links in the description if you want to know all the information about this product. I like the packaging that they have. Looks like either 16 or 18 gauge OFC wire for your power ground and your remote turn on. I'm going to be testing this out in my system, kind of see how it works, show you how fast the voltage reader is, as well as show you the features. So some of the cool features that it offers is a mid hold function, so you're able to actually see how low your voltage drop is as well as has a dimmer setting depending on if you want it to be high or low for day or night usage with around 40,000 samples per second fed into this screen making it one of the fastest voltmeters in the world. Here's the specs for everything about it. The last thing is an operating voltage of 7 to 20 volts is the range. I'm going to be getting this thing installed now and try it out. Okay, so I've got my ground, power, and remote wire installed. These are very easy to hook up. You just have your red wire to your power, your black wire to your ground, and then the white or yellow wire will go directly to your, like your blue turn on for a head unit stereo. I got this just wired up real quick. I'm going to hook it up to my battery, the remote, and see what first turn on looks like. So here we go. It's about to turn on. We'll see what it looks like. It turned on just fine. I've got my lithium at, sitting at idle. I haven't started the truck for a few days at 13.3 volts. All I see is the single button, as I showed you with the quick little unboxing early in review. Nothing else. No screw hole mounting points. You can pretty much place it at any panel or location that you want. The measurements I showed you earlier in the specs. Also check out the description if you want to know more on exact measurements. So if you hold this button, it'll pop up the dimmer setting where if you want to set it to be on either on or off. So let's say I wanted my dimmer to be on, and then it's going to, when you hold the button on, it's on. My lighting system is a little bit more dimmed. So that's one of the special features that comes on for the premium option, which is the one that I'm testing out. And then if I hold the button again, let it load. Okay, so I had to hold it for about three seconds. Now, if I want to turn the dimmer off, it'll be a little brighter. So hold for about three seconds. See, it just got a little bit brighter. Maybe a little harder to see on camera, but it is actually probably three times as bright as it was earlier. So if you don't like it as bright, the dimmer section is pretty cool if you want that for the premium. Also, if you press this button, it'll have a peak hold for the premium option where actually it will pick up my lowest voltage Say I'm going full tilt and I want to know how low my voltage drops. This is going to pick that up on the premium option, which is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and turn the truck on and we'll see how the voltage reads from turning the vehicle on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start the truck. So let's go ahead and test out the hold real quick. Press the button. That's picked up. Alternator is going to go up a little bit as it warms up and charges the lithium. So to set the min hold, you press the button and it picks it up for a few seconds where it'll pick up the lowest voltage. And we'll go ahead and test that too now and you can see the difference. So the normal standard version doesn't offer that as mentioned, but their premium, premium version does. All right, so I'm gonna try out a couple tracks and see how the voltage drop and kind of reacts. It's really fast. The camera frame rate will actually pick it up better than me reading it visually, but we'll see how it does. And then I'll also compare it to the meter I'm currently using and kind of see the difference in the voltage. show you a real quick comparison of the one I currently have versus this one.
Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and test the min hold function. So usually if you press the button one time, it will set up the min hold function as I play and it should hold the lowest voltage as I play. function it dropped down to 13.0 and it picked up that number and it didn't go back up for a few seconds so it actually picked up my lowest voltage drop which was 13.0 held for a few seconds so really impressive that it actually offers that feature i don't know how long it's supposed to hold that feature for but i could see for a few seconds it picked it up so that was pretty cool i hope you enjoyed that quick little video showing you some tests with this ultra fast voltmeter from the amp lab Go ahead and give it a like as well as subscribe if you have it for more videos to come. Check out the links in the description for more to know about this product and stay tuned for more videos. I really like everything about it from the speed of the voltage reading, the min hold, the visual, the dimmer setting, and of course being able to track voltage faster than the eye can appeal and being able to keep up with my voltage better than any other meter. So check out the links in the description. Enjoy the video. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.